Ray, and it's Rob here from Bay Marine Electronics. Today we're heading out on the launch volunteer and we're going to try out one of the GT51 through hull transducers. The GT51 transducer is a 600 watt medium chirp side view and down view transducer seen here mounted directly to the keel of the launch. So we're currently at Penguin Shoal, uh, about halfway on our way to Mare Island uh, to see some deep water. Uh, and we decided to stop, and this is a really good opportunity if you look at the screen here, you can really see up here we've got the side scan, then we've got the live view down here, and then we've got the regular sounder. So what you can see is currently on the, uh, the side scan, you can see that all those bits of foul ground that's, that's the start of Penguin Shoals. Uh, and then you can actually see the shape of it on the live view down from the panoptics and also where these fish are. The fish quite clearly showing up on the regular sound there as well. We've got some nice big kingfish there next to a school of smaller bait fish. Um, but it kind of importantly is showing up where in the depth column, water column they are on the panoptics. The detail we've got with the, the sand coming up to these big rocky outcrops which make up the penguin shoals. The actual shape of those uh, those outcrops on the uh, the panoptics. So obviously a big rock here in the middle, with you know bits on either side, and, and then of course the, the regular sounder picture. So here we're using the uh, live view historical to get a really good idea of what the uh, the shape of these canyons are. So this is actually what the actual um, the bottom actually looks like. Um, you can see that there's, there's, you know, rocks going across the actual seamount itself. Um, so it's, it's quite cool to get that, that shape um, and also obviously see where the fish are in, in, in relation to that. Anything else to add there, Greg? Very pretty. Did <laughs> <laughs> I want to throw a bait down the middle? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I guess you can see um, a couple of big fish on right on the uh, outskirts of that school there. Let's really see what's going on with it. I like this, where you can see the the, um, the gullies. Yeah, yeah. You can really catch the gullies and, and what's going on with um, you know the different rock yeah. bits of rock and stuff. Yeah. Oh, amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Look at all the detail. Yeah. Hey, look at that, you know, that's still 40 odd metres there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's what old side scan used to do. Now, yeah. now it's, the old, old side scan you know, it's 50 metres and, and it's pretty clear as day. Unreal. We're looking at this, this just a sonar view, but if we do see some fish that we want to catch, I'm just swiping back there. Let's say we wanted to get that kingfish there. Put my finger on it. Make a new waypoint. Now, uh, after we've done that, we can go back to... Um, well, let's say a uh, combo with the, the panoptics and the um, and the nav chart, and you can see our waypoint there, triple O eight, which is uh, obviously where uh, where that fish was. Um, the other thing uh, which I'd like to point out is this shadow here on the starboard side of the boat. That's actually from the rudder. The rudder's in the way with this installation. It's just a temporary install. So unfortunately, uh, there's no way around that. So this is uh, where we've been playing around, obviously it's um, Penguin Shoals, which is right near Muir Island and obviously Tauranga. Um, and we've just gone over the top of, top of the shoals itself uh, and going back to the, the sound of view that we were using, which was number 7, um, you can really see, oh, I'll go through each one of them, so the side scan showing a lot of uh, rubble, a lot of kind of uh, uh, foul ground which you'd expect on some of the shoals. Um, we're also starting to get rocked around a little bit so it's a little bit distorted. But you can quite clearly see the fish line as well. This is, we're using the 260 kilohertz um, side scan. So it shows the fish a bit better than the 455. Of course we've got the panoptics, um, which we've just gone over a, a quite a good school of fish and it's quite clearly showing exactly where those fish are. Um, so when they're outside of the standard, well, the chirp sounder uh, beam width, uh, it does show them quite well. Um, and you can make that full size as well. Uh, seeing individual fish all through the water column is very, very handy. Um, and then of course your regular sounder as well. So when I say regular, 
It's the outstanding chirp sounder as well. We took the screenshot of the side view as we were leaving Penguin Shoals as it showed how far out the side view can really reach, well over 200 metres in this case. So we are just arriving at the first uh, pinnacle that we're looking for some half on. See the conditions are a little bit sloppy. Um, we're still getting a pretty good picture coming through. I think they're about 150. We only had time to stop at one knoll, but we did see fish in just over 200 metres. This would be about the limit for this transducer. On our way to Mare Island, we did get past some deeper water, and we had a good bottom at over 400 metres. On the way back to Tauranga, we stopped at a couple more bits of foul ground we knew about. Again, the side view lit them up very well, and the fish finder did a great job at spotting fish as well. We left the side view on the lower 260 kilohertz frequency as we came into the shallower area inside the harbour, and we were blown away by how clear the picture remained. In particular, we were surprised by what we could see inside the marina. Here you can see a boat hull on the left hand side, and you can also see the bows of boats and the floating pontoons in this shot. Thanks for watching. More information and screenshots can be found on our website.